Hey everyone! Well, it's finally here. The official Minecart Rapid Transit server is now open to the public. To join the server, you'll probably want to first visit the new Minecart Rapid Transit website, which is available at minecartrapidtransit, all one word, dot net. As you can see here, I'm already on the homepage of the new website, and here I'll be starting a blog where I'll be posting the latest updates to the server, as well as my latest videos. There's also an about page here, which explains a bit about myself, as well as the MRT station. Here I've got the videos of the version 4.1 station, as well as the version 3 station. And this page also includes uh, detail, more details about the server itself. Now before you attempt to connect to the server, it's very important that you read and understand all of the rules. And those are available on this page here. Now I won't go into detail about all the rules here, but it's pretty much common sense stuff like no griefing or no spam in the chat, that sort of thing. So once again, please read all of the rules uh, before you continue. Now once you're ready to join the server, uh, go to the how to join page here, and you can see there's the uh, server address right there. Now how the server works is it's a gray listed server. That means is everyone who first joins the server will be given the guest rank. Uh, as a guest, you will be able to walk around, fly around, and explore other people's creations, as well as ride any of the MRT lines, but you won't be able to build or destroy blocks. To gain building privileges, you'll need to apply to become a member of the server, and that's through our online form here. Uh, see this blue link on the bottom of the uh, page here? This is our online form. So if you click this, the uh, form will open up and you just need to fill out all the fields here. So provide your Minecraft username, your email address, your age, geographical location. Also, how did you hear about the server? You'll probably want to want to know about that. It was Is it through my YouTube channel or through uh, friends or word of mouth, that sort of thing. Uh, the second to last question in the, question, in the application is probably the most important. Uh, it's basically your chance to explain why you want to be a member of the server and why we should approve your application. Basically, it's your chance to convince us. Um, if you have any ideas about what you'd like to build in the server, you also can also put that in this section, them down in this section here. And the last question here is optional, but if you have built any uh, epic creations in your in Minecraft, uh, we want to know about them. So if you have any screenshots or videos of those projects or structures, please uh, provide links in this section here. We like to we would like to see some skill builders on the server, uh, and that'll definitely help your application. Now enough about the application. There's one last thing I want to show you on the website, and that is the new world map. Uh, it's right here, and this is actually a live map of the server right now. Uh, it comes in two flavors. There's an overland uh, map here. Uh, if you go to the right here, there's also an isometric map, which you can see here. And you can also zoom in, uh, look around, that sort of thing. And uh, as you'll probably notice, uh, there's some flags uh, around the map here, and those indicate the station, the locations of stations. If you mouse over the flag, you'll see the name of the station appear. Now. Uh, as you have, I mentioned in a previous video, most of the stations are not named at the moment, so I've just given them a simple letter number designation. As you can see, my mouse is over B12 station, which is basically means the 12th station on the blue line. Um, eventually, there'll be a, I'll set up a process for people to set in suggestions for stations. Uh, not right now, though, but uh, pretty in, soon in the near future. But for now, at least uh, if these stations will have some sort of designation so it's easy to identify. Alright, so to end off this video, I'd like to quickly go over how to connect to the server within Minecraft. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, just click multiplayer, click add server, and for the server name I'll put in minecart rapid transit. For server address it's minecart rapid transit dot net for 25565. Click done. You can see it's the server is recognized. I'll double click this to log in, and here we am. So as you notice, when you first spawn, you'll be surrounded by these four colored boards. Uh, it's these contain information about the server as well as the rules. It's very important that you read all of them, uh, in particular the red and yellow boards. The red board contains uh, information about item permissions, as well as the general rules. 
yellow board contains additional rules. Uh, these are the MRT rider rules, as well as the construction rules for members and above. And the green board is probably the most interesting to players. Uh, this one contains most of the up-to-date information about the servers, so things like server news, as well as a list of the current projects on the server. So most people will probably look at the list of current projects to see if they're what other people are building and to maybe ask if they can uh, help out in that project. The blue board contains general information about the server, uh, uh, ranks, uh, what's the website. Uh, we also have a mumble server for the, for the Minecraft server. Uh, it's, all at, it's at the same address, minecartrapidtransit.net, but on a different port, as you can see there. And so yeah, be sure to join that uh, if you have a microphone. Uh, Glad to chat with you. Uh, I've also got, and if you need any, need to contact us, uh, we also have an email address as well here. And finally, uh, we also have a staff list. Now, I am, uh, of course, it's looking a bit sparse right now since I'm the only administrator here. Um, so I'll be hopefully looking for new uh, moderators and administrators from the current player base. Uh, I should remind you guys, though, that. One of the rules is that you do not ask for moderator or administrator rights. Uh, basically, uh, don't ask us, we'll ask you. We'll, and I'll be looking for people who I think will be trustworthy enough and uh, not abusive of their powers, and also just uh, all around good people that uh, contribute to the server. So uh, that is pretty much it. Uh, hope to see you on the server, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.